even when you see me with somebody living better I'm trying to tell you that me just doing me gonna have you jealous, uh I know that I You too Cobra family We bike with another video y'all today Y'all see from the title Y'all see what we got Now, obviously y'all we don't, we don't react to a lot of game and stuff over here But as y'all know, I am a game here. Like, I love gaming. And, um, like, game aside, anime stuff. So, uh, yeah. I wouldn't mind bringing it over here from on the channel from time to time. But, uh, gaming. This is the first gaming, like, actual, like, video we didn't bring over here. And if y'all don't know this, I love Fortnite. I love Fortnite. I love, um, I love gaming in general. And, but I hadn't been recently really focused on Fortnite lately because y'all know I've been been really heavy on my you know YouTube grind and stuff with both of the both of the YouTube accounts. Which by the way, we almost said thirty k sub in the first one, and over here we almost said five k. So as y'all see, stuff is going amazing with YouTube. But um, yeah, I'm I'm I heard they dropped a new season, or this is like at least a trailer for the new season. So I think I believe it dropped today, and um. Yeah, I, I I believe so. So I'm definitely gonna get hop back on uh Fortnite and uh see what's going on like gameplay wise. But I definitely want to see what's going on right now because I didn't. It seemed like I missed a lot. So yeah, without further freaking do, let's get right to. Begins this week, and we've already got in-game live events, official teasers, and heck? our first look at the battle pass, starting with Zeus, who is officially revealed in this image. Zeus. Not only can you spot him in the teaser, we have learned that Zeus will have an exclusive mythic. It'll have three different a stages, mythic? and even a lightning bolt ability to shoot at people, which explains what he's holding in the pic. Oh lord, they they bringing gods and stuff in Fortnite now. Zeus, and he, hold on, hold on, a mythic... A mythic lightning bolt? How the heck is that gonna work? I'm assuming the way he grabbed it right here, he's gonna be holding it and then What the heck? Fortnite, what the heck going on? Now I saw a hand at the beginning just coming out the ground. Oh lord, yeah, I can't wait. I ain't wait to hop on Fortnite today, cause uh <laughs> I'm definitely getting on it today. Sure. Today. But look closely and you'll spot grenades and shotgun shells. So clearly Fortnite's going for a modern take on Greek gods. Right. Not everything will have a twist though. According to rumors, he'll be found at a Mount Olympus POI and that's not all. Our second teaser was posted yesterday revealing the king of the underworld, Hades. Yeah, I wasn't expecting him to wear a gas mask, but maybe there's a reason for it. If you're wondering nice. what he's holding, originally I thought this would be a glider or a pickaxe, but a playtester has claimed that this is Hades mythic. It'll serve as a chain whip with fire. So let's see how this one plays out. What? Today's teaser is just as revealing, giving us a glimpse at Aphrodite in her full glory. Aphrodite. As the goddess of love, you can just make out the hearts on her outfit, but this doesn't just show us a skin. We can also see a winged mythic belonging to Icarus, and when Fortnite posted this, they even teased it with, don't fly too close to the sun, and anyone who knows this story will immediately get it. And so you're probably wow. wondering what collapse to expect in season two. Some of the biggest crossovers are reserved for battle passes, and according to early info, we will see the return of Kratos in Fortnite. Kratos? The already in game, but with the Greek theme. The oh, original Lord. design will make perfect sense, and he might even bring Atreus with him. Oh. Leakers have talked about a golden apple consumable, which sounds pretty cool on its own, but it also connects to the God of War games, where you collect apples to increase your maximum health. Oh now, my season two goodness. will be full of mythical characters, as seen by Pandora's box in the Bro, like, what the heck? Bro, I'm telling y'all, Fortnite is always going above and beyond. Like, for some weird reason, Fortnite get a whole bunch of hate. I, I have no idea why. For the most part, most, majority of the community love Fortnite. Like, I want to say it's a good, like, 80, 80, 20 kind of split. 80% of the community love Fortnite. It's a it's just a large chunk, like a 20% that this. I, I don't know. They they just hate the game for whatever reason. Saying oh bring bring back old Fortnite, which by the way I'm so glad they did that OG Fortnite thing because that really showed y'all like okay Fortnite obviously heard y'all, but we gonna bring it back to show y'all like why we make switch ups and why we change stuff the way we do it. Literally when people were playing the OG stuff, the same people that was complaining about bring old Fortnite back, they bring it back. And people eventually started saying, guess what? It's getting boring. It's getting boring. Literally, people were saying, like, it's getting boring. They wanted to switch up. So, Fortnite, I'm glad Fortnite did that to show y'all, like, look. This is why we do what we do. Because if we were to keep it like this forever, y'all would get bored of it and not play it. 
which obviously Fortnite will always and forever have a support base, but it's always good to switch it up. Like this, this is why I love the how they have seasons. They have seasons, and they have like live events. Like new seasons and live events are what makes Fortnite not only unique from other games, but this is why they're at the top, like they are. Like even you could argue like Fortnite views have dropped, or you know gamers have dropped. Yeah, it's never. It's always gonna be at least top five, like forever. Fortnite is always gonna be in the top forever. So people that hating on Fortnite, that y'all might as well stop because it's pointless. That's why I said, like for me, I love Fortnite, and I play build mode too. I play both. I play builds and no builds. So I love Fortnite. Like obviously, Fortnite be having you know issues with it from time to time. Obviously, every game does, but still, I love. It map right now. Most people have been staring at the vortex, but pay close vortex. attention to the designs on the box and you'll see insane drawings of the upcoming cast. Oh my Servers goodness. can be spotted confirming his appearance and players have found his upcoming skin in the surveys. You'll also spot Ares, the god of war holding a spear and shield, but the real secret is hiding in the orb. You have to look seriously close, but you'll see constellations revealing the entire battle pass. This heart symbol confirms that Aphrodite will be joining us and her skin looks just as exciting. We've also seen a trident, wow. meaning Poseidon is coming to the game, maybe we'll see an Atlantis POI. I'm more scared of Medusa, who looks seriously powerful. The last constellation is a bow, which is most likely Artemis, goddess of the hunt. So okay. some of these guys will appear on the island as bosses. Yeah, these strong Greek gods are gonna be fighting us, and they'll all have unique mythics which sound incredible. Like oh, I said Lord. earlier, Zeus will have his Thunderbolt. Thanks to a leak from December, we know he'll spawn in with lightning, and if you're hit by it, your HP will slowly drain away. There's also Hades Chain okay. Whip, but did you know Poseidon will also have a working trident? Yeah, not just for show, this really? will be a full-on weapon. So you're probably thinking, wow. what kind of mythic could Cerberus have? Well, this is where Fortnite gets ridiculous, and they're giving a mythological creature a shotgun. Yeah, apparently Cerberus' tactical shoddy will summon wolves, so uh, that sounds pretty cool. What the Ares, the really? god of war, won't have a spear and shield like we thought. According to leakers, he'll have a tactical burst rifle. Then we have Medusa. Okay. I'm hoping she can turn us to stone, but we I'm do know that she has some sort of shockwave ability with a damage blast that sends you flying. And speaking of being in the air, the vice president of Epic Games always posts a teaser right before a new season. Vice this president. time you're expecting something like lightning. They got a president and vice president for, well, Fortnite is pretty, pretty, a uh, huge company, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Like, with Epic Games, like Fortnite, and, which by the way, y'all know Epic, like, own multiple games. Like, I don't just focus on Fortnite, but Jesus Christ, I know Fortnite just... I, I'm pretty sure Epic probably didn't think Fortnite was going to be this massive for them. To have a president, then a vice president, I'm assuming they have an actual president. So they probably got a lot of workers, like, messing with the game. So, okay. That's crazy, bro. The Greece, but he took us all by surprise posting the word wings. It led to all kinds of speculation, and then Fortnite's competitive account said, you know how you can walk or sprint when competing? Let's just say you'll be able to do something else. Slowly the pieces were beginning to nah, add up. Nah, leakers... hold on, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Fortnite? Dude, don't tell me what I think. Did you hooligans and fly? Let me find out you could fly. Let me find out you could fly in Fortnite now. Claim we are getting a winged item. It'll have a 30 second cooldown and we'll get it from chests, allowing us to fly around without a vehicle. And so, you can fly. Course, right now, we know it's the mythic you can see Aphrodite using in the latest teaser. Okay. Now, we've seen a ton of characters and items, but what about the map itself? Of course, we're getting four new POIs, including Mount Olympus. Each of them will have their own boss, as we've talked about, but there also will be some henchmen. Obviously, hmm. Greek gods aren't going to be defended by some dudes in ski masks. Next season, hmm. guards will be changed to monsters who are basically mini bosses. If you're to play in a live event, there's a new update in Event Wars. It's number one trending right now, and it lets you replay the Monster vs. Robot event in Zone Wars. Oh, the wow. second event is the OG Volcano erupting, but be careful because the entire floor turns to lava. That oh, that's is just scratching cool. the surface of events that are available, so search Event Wars to play now. I'm okay. sure the mythics sound cool, but we're also getting fresh weapons in the loot pool. The Frenzy Auto Shotgun will be replaced with a mysterious new tack that reloads the whole clip in one go. It's gotta oh. be busted. And so is the new DMR. Yeah, that sounds 
Hopefully these upcoming weapons will be moddable, but if not, their base stats sound pretty interesting. The DMR has seven bullets, decent damage, and a quick reload time. I wonder if it'll replace the popular bolt action snipers we have right now, or just be a useful tool encountering them. Okay. One of the craziest leaks about season two has millions of fans excited. Leakers have revealed the next big crossover, and it's the last collab you'd expect. It turns out Persona is coming to Fortnite, and we might see posters for Persona 3 Reload around the map. Oh, this game shoot. just released, and if the rumors are true, we might see outfits like Makoto Yuki, or even characters from other games like Joker. All of these details oh, are from a playtest okay. session last December, and the people there were also given a list of crossovers they wanted to see the most. This list included One Piece, Xena, Aquaman the Lost Kingdom, Halo Wars, and Final Fantasy. Oh my god, y'all. Like, Final Fantasy? Oh my god, they had Final Fantasy, bro. Like, oh my goodness. And then Halo 2. Well, they got some Halo in there already. They said Halo Wars. Okay. I'm liking it. I'm loving this update. Fantasy 7. If you want to know who won the vote, it was the return of God of War, which explains the leaks about Kratos and Atreus. Okay. Okay. It also turns out Epic Games accidentally leaked the collab of their own, thanks to an update in the tournament section, and data miners found an unreleased cup for Jujutsu Kaisen. This means a second wave of JJK skins are around the corner, with fans hoping to see Maki Zinin, Yutaka Kotsu, or maybe even Panda. Man, throw in Sukuna. Where, where is Sukuna? Where is, uh... What's his name? Is it Gigi? I think that's his, the dude that was Gojo's best friend. I forget get his name. But him. And then, yeah, I would love to see Maki Panda. Obviously, it would be cool. Um, you, can't, you can't have a second wave of Jojo. I mean, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen without Sukuna at this point. Because so all my manga readers and all the people that's keeping up with Jujutsu Kaisen, uh, with, with what's going on with Sukuna? If y'all know, you know. He going, he on Demon Time. I ain't gonna spoil nothing for any new people, but he going crazy. But, uh, yeah, they, they better add Sukuna. And who else? Yeah, Maki. Now, one of the teasers I haven't talked about yet is the mosaic. It's an image we've been putting together, and here is the final result. Okay. There's nothing here too surprising, but pay attention to the color scheme. This light blue has revealed something interesting, as players look back on the surveys and found this skin. He could fit perfectly into season two, and oh, pairing this with an unreleased shoot. rap called Adrip, he- Wait, I think I, can, I think I got him. Do I have him? I think I got that skin. There's a different variant for him, but I, do I have him? I got some black dude that glow, y'all. He look exactly like him. But instead, he have, like, uh, like he got a jacket on, but it's, like, it's more closed up a little bit, but... Huh. Might just be the owner. Now, we're ignoring a huge mystery that's sitting on the island as we speak. What the, the Titan Hand, oh, which revealed God. Pandora's box, belongs to someone. We just haven't figured out who yet. That or so we thought. The surveys have revealed this galactic being, whose arm looks exactly like our familiar hand. Oh. Could it be another season two character? Either way, Hopefully. it turns out your favorite YouTubers might become part of the teasers. Really? This week, Epic is sending out a big package to creators. They're sending something to the power office, because we had to confirm it because it's big. Should be kind of exciting. Oh. Usually, when streamers are getting dedicated packages, you know we're in store for a great season. Especially when teasers have been going on months in advance. During Fortnite OG. If, if Courage JD don't finally get a skin. So, yeah, definitely Courage. Um, I would love to see, like, the OGs, too. Like, Nick and Tim, like, actually legitly get, like, a skin, too. It, it makes sense. Like, Dr. Lupo, Courage. Cause Cypher, Cypher and Ninja got skins already. Um, yeah, Tim, Nick, and I'm not talking about Tomato here for Tim, like actually a Tim skin. But yeah, Tim, Nick Merckx, um, Courage, and who else? Uh, maybe Clicks, but you know, y'all know Clicks is more on the competitive side of Fortnite, so I don't know if Fortnite would. I don't. I don't know. Because Fortnite, when they add new skins as far as, like, content creators, they, it's, it's mainly, like, people who who are not, like, non-competitive. But, I mean, at the same time, Clicks has a lot of popularity on them with Fortnite. So, I can see them adding for, uh, adding Clicks, too. So, I don't know. We're going to see y'all. But, uh, yeah. 
the victory umbrella had everyone intrigued as the time machine showed a very close date, May 4th, 2024. People are wondering what the significance is until they realize it's just one day after a major crossover ends. In the middle of season two, we're getting an entire mini pass dedicated to one show. Just like Ninja Turtles, this will take over the game for a couple weeks and it's of course, The Last Airbender. Oh it's codenamed The Elements Pass, but we all know what Fortnite's trying to hide. When you buy it, you'll immediately get the Aang outfit who even has a Lego style. By collecting all six books from challenges, you'll get an Appa Glider and there's a free reward track for anyone saving their V-Bucks. It's not just collabs that players have been waiting for. Something that's kept the community patient for years now is the return of some iconic LTMs. Okay. We used to get Air Royale, One Shot, even Getaway, but now Epic's left it all to creative. Thankfully, with season two around the corner, there's not only leaks of Midas returning, but he'll be presenting the Flora's Lava LTM. Who knows, maybe he'll even get a remix skin for the Greek myth he's based on. And if you want an early look at a skin for yourself, just head on over to Ruin Reels. For the past few weeks, Odyssey has been roaming here, and while a lot of people thought she'd be in the battle pass, she's actually gonna be a rank skin. For the first time, an outfit mm. will reflect your current rank, with her armor changing from bronze, silver, and gold, oh, all the way up to- Oh, that's pretty dope. That's, now see, see why I like that tower, because I've, I've kind of been feeling like Fortnite needed to add that, because now, um, Cause at first, like you, you, you wouldn't be able to tell how somebody's skill level is because for some odd reason, Fortnite be having like yeah. I remember I was platinum, oh one season, it was platinum around diamond. It, no, I was not. Yeah, platinum, rolling on the diamond. Yeah, why was I getting unreal players and champion players? Why why am I in the why am I in lobbies with them? Like what the heck? Like that clearly some some is off. Some is clearly off. Cause what the heck? You can tell they uh, unreal and champion players because of how they play, and how they move and stuff. So it's like, yeah, what what the heck, Fortnite? So now I think doing this is a great idea. Matter of fact, like they need to have it specifically to where when you wear a skin, you have to have like whatever rank you are on that on that skin. So that would be amazing, cause that is ridiculous real. While you're talking to her, make sure you've completed all your quests to unlock some free items. She sent us around the island collecting mural pieces and tiles, unlocking the finished loading screen along with a Cerberus backplane. Not the only items you could earn for free, because any member of the crew will be getting a huge bonus. Rocket League Season 14 just launched, revealing two new cars in the past, which are included in your Fortnite crew membership. The best mm. part? This time, they're gonna be cross-game compatible. This means you'll instantly get Admiral at Tier 1, and if you're willing to grind a bit of Rocket League, you can get Mako later in the pass. Oh, and wow. that's not the only vehicles getting ported over. Leakers have also found other bodies you'll be able to drive around in Fortnite soon. Both the Dominus GT and Masamune are set to become cross-compatible, so if you already own them, they'll be in your locker for free. Make sure to use code wow. T5G if you pick up the Fortnite Battle Pass. It's been Tommy, and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming. Oh my god, Fortnite, I love it. I love it, bro. Fortnite, y'all don't understand how, how crazy, like, amount of work Fortnite puts in their game, y'all. Like, literally, for, this is why Fortnite is always and forever going to be a top game for me. Like, cause I, I am a Call of Duty player at heart. Like, I love playing Call of Duty. But, um, yeah, for, Fortnite always going to, like, forever be with me, too, because I'm I'm, I'm, a, na I'm a sweat, y'all. I'm, I'm a natural-born sweat at video games. Like, if y'all can tell, like, I play Call of Duty and Fortnite. It used to be 2K too, but I kind of like, you know, just blew 2K to the side. But yeah, and uh, fighting games too. But mainly I stick to shooting games, Call of Duty and Fortnite. They're my main games. But yeah, like I'm I'm so, I'm always so happy and proud of Fortnite when they drop something new. And you just, you can literally see, especially with his description, how much effort and how much work that they are, they putting into adding new stuff and patching stuff up. I'm pretty sure they're going to add like some some patch notes too and maybe nerfs and buffs and stuff with well we'll see yeah they 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 more than likely probably are like probably after a week or something with the game being out but yeah i, I love i love how attention fortnite is y'all like the whole the whole company deserve like all the money in the world so <laughs> well not literally but y'all get the point but anyway let's gonna do it y'all um I, i'm excited for fortnite i'm excited i'm i'm Man, I think it's updating right now, matter of fact. But I gotta I gotta play on console, unfortunately, because my PC is not enough room on it. So uh But yeah. 
I'm excited. So, uh, anywho, that's going to do it, y'all. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts and know what y'all think, Fortnite fans. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Y'all stay safe. Y'all have trouble. Love y'all, and I'll see y'all next one. Now, bye. Influence all the times you told me beat it. Now you gotta face the music I'm saying. I know that I